focus on our breathing and staying zen, inhaling the future, exhaling the past. That's nice. It is International Yoga Day, as we have been mentioning. So the practice began more than 5,000 years ago in India. The word yoga derived from Sanskrit, meaning to join or to unite. I never knew that. I love that. But it makes complete sense. Yep. Today has been declared International Yoga Day by the United Nations, and this is the ninth annual celebration. The day serves as a reminder to make healthier choices to foster good health. Right, now both of us have when practiced we yoga. Yeah, over the years. When we can, we wish we could do it more. Yeah. But when I do, I take class from a yokel, yokel. A, a local, local yokel. yokel. The local yokel. The local watering hole. <laughs> <laughs> from this girl right here on your there screen, this is, is Alex Roberts. She teaches uh, in Hoboken at Real Hot Yoga, and here she is right Hi. now to help us get balanced, get centered, find our drizzy, yeah. mm -hmm. right? All mm -hmm. that good stuff. I Alex, have two welcome. Alexes. Two Alex Alex and Alex. And Alex and Alex, so uh, what got you into practicing yoga? I started after college, during college. Yeah. I used to be a dancer, and it reminded me the movements, vinyasa is what I right. teach. It reminded me of dance. Of dance. So uh, that's what has kept me with it. Sure. And made me kind of, you know, forget about the crazy. You know, sure. I'd say sweat out the crazy. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it made me feel good. Um, and I've been with it ever since. I got my teacher training certification in 2016. Look at you. Yes, because not only does Alex serve as an instructor, but she also teaches those who want to yes, become I do. I do. instructors. Wow. She no, is the I teacher lead. of teachers. I teach Have you ever failed now. anybody? I, I hope not. Okay, good. <laughs> I don't think so. No, I mean, like, did they go to take the you test and you were like, no, no, no they've be all passed, all of them. She's a she has a 100% track, track record. Yes, success rate, yes. <laughs> okay, so yoga, great form of exercise, yes. obviously, especially we sweat a lot with yeah. Alex, but it's more than just about the physical well-being. Mm -hmm. It's a lot to do, like anything, with the mental. So talk to us about the, the whole mind-body connection. Yeah, so the practice really forces you to focus on your breath. So it yeah. makes you be present. It teaches you how to breathe really well, and it calms your nervous system. Mm. So okay. I find that when you really do tap into the breath and you are in the present moment on your mat, like this one piece of sure. rubber, it's your space for that amount of time, the rest of the world kind of falls away, okay. and it allows you to be in that moment in time. So it's almost like a glorified meditation. Like a meditation. Yes. It's just, a moving meditation. It is. It's the standing it's moving meditation. meditation. How does someone prepare for yoga? Because I try to get to a yoga class early and I'm always looking around. Some people are doing headstands. Some people are, mm -hmm. inversions. Some people are like this. Some people are They're like this. They're asleep on the floor like this. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. What is how does one prepare for a yoga class? So the and in our studio that it's a lot of chatter, a lot of, a lot of <laughs> partying a lot of before class, Kathy's loud here. music, but the best way to prepare is to center yourself. So okay. when we start class at my studio and a lot of studios, we start with stillness, with breath, with closing your eyes so you can, you know, get out of where you were before and be in the moment on your mat. So if you can do that before class, that's great, but the class always does start that way. So that's how you can All right. center yourself. And without any further ado. I've centered yeah. myself. Let's okay. go. What so, are we doing? Let's do so we're going to do the bulk of what a sun salutation is. Today is the summer solstice. Yes. And it is the longest traditional day the that you do 108 sun salutations. Well, we will not be doing those. I was going to say, that well, it's only a 57 <laughs> minute a program. program. <laughs> nice and short. But we're going to do the, the main poses. So. Uh, let's start. Actually, we'll just do a whole sun salutation. Okay. So come to the top of the mat. Sure. The first part is two is high mountain. So reach your arms up. It's a breath in. On your exhale, you forward fold. Come down to the ground. And then you halfway lift. Breath in. Lengthen your spine. Exhale, step to plank. So plant your palms. Feet go to the back of the mat. And then plank is a really strong pose. It's where you firm through your arms mm -hmm. and your legs. And then shift forward. Let's go all the way to the ground. Exhale. All the way down. And then baby cobra is where you would start. You lift your chest. If you are a little bit more flexible and ready, you can go to upward facing dog where you lift your thighs oh, I love this up. One. Yeah, me too. Oh, this one feels good. And then exhale, downward facing dog. And then traditionally you'd stay here for five breaths. Mm. This is where some people do crazy things. Oh, they go yeah, upside yeah, down, yeah. maybe they rest. And then you bend your knees, look forward. And then exhale, walk or float to the top of the mat. Oh, oh, there you go. Lengthen your spine, breath in. Exhale, fold, and then stand back up, reach your arms up, high mountain, and then exhale, hands to your heart, arms down by your sides, and you would do that again 107 I'm more times. I'm sweating a lot. <laughs> Just 107 more times. Just 107 more times. You know, yeah. I, I once heard, and I don't know, it was probably one of your classes or somebody's yeah. classes at Real Hot, that... You, if you if you don't have a lot of time to do an actual workout, if you could just go through sun salutations for like X amount of time, 10, 15 minutes, I mean, the heart rate it gets you where you need through to, yeah. the roof. Yeah. Um, now, Alex. Yes. You were mentioning the inhale and the outhale. The connection to the breath. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
and the pose. I can't even talk about it. <laughs> well, I was, I was gonna ask something probably very similar. How do you, how does it become seamless? Yes. Cause sometimes I get yeah. hyper aware that- And you forget in to In this breathe. posture, maybe I'm supposed to be exhaling, maybe I'm supposed to be inhaling. Right. Well, how do we how do we do this so that we get out of our brain, right? Because mm -hmm. I think one of the one of the tenets of yoga is get out of your brain and into your yeah, body. Yeah, I mean, if you mess up the breath, it doesn't really matter. Okay, good. it's really <laughs> just focusing on matching each movement to a breath, okay. so it feels expansive on the breath in and contraction on the breath out. And the, if you start with practicing your breath before you practice the practice, right. lots of practicing, then, then it comes feel... more fluidly throughout. Okay. Yeah. How do you like to end a yoga session? I like to end, let's go on our backs really quickly. <clears throat> Mari, this is oh, this is Savasana? So this is, well, first we're gonna just take oh. a twist. So let your knees fall oh, to one side. Yeah, and cross your oh, leg. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, I love this. Yeah, good for the low back, good for the core. Hello. This let's is great. Go to the other side for I like to start with this. Oh, me too, <laughs> so do I. Start, end. And then let's, we can shavasana. This is how we end every class. Legs long, arms down by your sides. And this is like the pause. We start with a pause, we end with a pause. Fantastic.